Good morning, traders and investors. Roger Scott here, senior strategist for The Trading Pub. It's Monday, it's October 9th. It's about 7.21 in the morning. The market's gonna gear up to open up at about in two hours and 10 minutes. Wanted to get you going early today. The Dow's down about 165 points. Not crazy, but not great. The Nasdaq is down 113, definitely, definitely beyond random. One of the sectors we're gonna to have to keep a real close eye is the energy sector, which is up two and a half percent today due to a conflict in the Middle East. I'll be talking about that quite a bit today. Also, we have to keep an eye on the bond market today. Yield may impact things. And, and most importantly, banking stocks, financials. We have to keep an eye on um, the financial sector. The financials starting to report with big banks, and I'll talk about that as well. As you could see here, looking at the broad market, that we're keying off the 200-day moving average. I like this bar right here, and I like the fact that we're above the eight-day moving average. On the QQQ, I like the fact that we're above the two, the 100-day, well above the 200-day, and about to cross the 50-day. And if we cross that 50-day, we could see a real, real nice rally here. One of the stocks that I'm really liking right now is Oracle. I've been talking this stock up, but uh, it's it's already above the eight-day EMA, and it looks like it's about to want to cross. It got upgraded, and it looks like it wants to cross above the 50, 50 and the 100, which are very close to each other. So in my opinion, Oracle's definitely, definitely a stock you want to keep an eye on today. Other stocks you may want to keep an eye on today. Let me just give you a list. Keep an eye on United Healthcare. That's a hot stock. Keep your eye on Western Digital. Very hot stock right now. Keep your eye on XPO Logistics. Hot stock right now. CME Group just broke out of this level. Very, very hot stock right now. That's about it for hot stocks to the upside. To the downside, let me show you where the money is right now. You want to see stocks that really did poorly on Friday, like uh, Church and Dwight. Another stock that did poorly on Friday, B-A-L-L, -L, Ball. Another stock that did poorly on Friday, Sealed Air. Not a great stock. So those three are the top bottom stocks that I would be looking to short right now. Now let's talk a little bit about the market and see what we have to expect and uh, talk about what's going on in the Middle East. Military conflict in the Middle East dampened risk appetite while market participants are looking ahead to the release of U.S. inflation data and minutes of the Federal Reserve latest policy meeting. Oil climbed 3% as Hamas' unexpected attack on Israel raised concerns of a wider conflict. It's uh, Fauda. You know the show Fauda? It's Fauda. It's live right now there. It's horrible. I mean, terrible. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict escalated into a full-fledged war over the weekend as members of the Islamic group Hamas launched attacks on multiple Israeli towns, resulting in deaths of hundreds of Israelis and the abduction of dozens more. Horrible. In response, Israeli airstrikes heavily targeted various site, uh, sites in Gaza, and on Sunday, the Israeli government declared war. Uh, Prime Minister uh, Netanyahu pledged retribution and cautioned that it protracted the challenged fight lay ahead. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This could be another Ukraine war. Labor Department showed non farm payroll rose by 336,000 jobs last month, powering past the 100,000 expected, telling us there's plenty of jobs available right now. Unemployment's not really. I mean, they were expecting 3.7, they got 3.8, nothing really crazy. The odds of the interest rates going up in September is like 21%, but in December, it's now 25 basis points. We've got a lot of Fed data this week, including FOMC, PPI, CPI, core CPI, import and export consumer sentiment, and a whole bunch of Fed speakers. So there's a lot of Fed data. We're going to keep an eye on the bond market very, 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 very carefully. Let's continue going through this. Uh, meanwhile, earnings season is kicking off. Bank stocks are starting to move. Keep an eye on these stocks. I'll be talking about them as the week continues. You've got Chase. You've got uh, Wells Fargo. You've got Citigroup. You've got BlackRock. I'll give you guys a guide of all of them that's coming out this week, and we'll talk about it later in the VIP room. 
Europe. Europe is down as Hamas surprise attack in Israel raised concerns about escalation tension in the Middle East. Uh, it's not good. Keep an eye on blue chip stocks in particular. Now, typically, these type of events have a big flash and then they kind of subdue unless unless there's continuation. So that's what we're looking for right now. China opened up after being closed for a week. Uh, they closed lower upon resuming trading after an extended holiday with mixed holiday tourism data failing to install confidence or instill confidence in the robust economy recovery. Yeah, they're not doing well at all. And and as far as today, keep an eye on Tesla. They got downgraded. Keep an eye on energy stocks. They're going to really be good today. Keep an eye on Oracle. It got upgraded. And I like how it's looking. I like how it's looking a lot, actually. Um, the market's going to open up lower. But keep your eye on the bond market. And if the bond market starts moving higher, not lower, higher, away from this, it's very, very positive. The bond market starts subduing, it's no, no good. Also, uh, as far as sectors, what you want to keep an eye on today is communication, technology, QQQ, healthcare afterwards, but mostly tech stocks. Tech stocks are uh, rising right now. They're leading everything. Technology, communication, QQQ, then you've got healthcare. But seriously, folks, this is where you want to be right now in technology, stocks, communication, and Vesco. That's why I like Oracle right now. I really, really like Oracle right now. Let's take a look at NVIDIA. I would be careful right now because it's flirting with the, it's not like it is right here. It's below the 50 day. If it goes above the 50 day, NVIDIA may be in play. But I really, really like Oracle right now. And I think Oracle is the way to go, to my, in my opinion. Now, before I let you go, and I'll be talking about a lot of this in the VIP room, a number of Wall Street institutions project that shares of Tesla will more than double by 2025. And while I don't think they're wrong, there's a better way to target the same return many times over in the same amount of time. One of our best traders, option strategist extraordinaire, Lance Cipollito, he's uncovered a market irregularity that's specific to shares of Tesla. And when leveraged the right way, whew, it shows the ability to pay out returns of 100% or more in six days or less. Holy moly. According to his data, it happened more than 20 different times over the last year alone. Click the link below and check all about it. Learn about Lance. It's happening at 1 p.m. Eastern time. World premiere of perfect Tesla trade. I can't wait to see it. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about it more in the VIP room. You guys have a great day. Remember, be very, very cautious. Indexes are at turning points. This uh, fiasco in the Middle East can really turn into something. And I really like Oracle at these levels. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great, great day ahead. I'll be updating you as the day continues and unfolds. Bye.